Nati Benaush. Uh, I grew up in here, and I lived here all my life. Most of my life. When I was 18, I joined the army, and then it kind of took me away from the challenge to different cities to travel around uh, the country and the world. And but I came back after a few years ago. Let's say around three, four years ago, I came back uh, here. Okay, so the vibe is generally very chill there's not a lot of things crazy things going on it's very mellow on the everyday basis um, the thing in Pachemish is that it's extremely diverse because it was it was built after a few different uh, aliot aliyah in here the, after uh, the Moroccans and then they lived in Hartouf which before Pachemish was Pachemish it was this thing called Maabara when they just put the people in like camps uh, outside of the right outside of Bechemish, it's called Artuv. So that's where my great my grandparents uh, were living for a while. Um, so it was the first the Moroccans, and then it came the Russians, Ethiopians. Um, uh, back then, it was a lot of Georgian, Bukharan. So it's just a one big mix of, uh, of people. Uh, I wouldn't say uh, predominantly Easterns because it's not necessarily Easterns, but more like uh, the mentality. Is a little more uh, Eastern. Do you ever find that there's a divide between it though? Like I maybe the Haredim and other people here? Yeah, I forgot the Haredim, which is like, you know, 40% of 50% of the city. Um, it's because I see no difference between, you know, us and Haredim in that sense. Uh, but there is a divide for sure, and I think it's uh, inevitable because to have their specific way of lifestyle, they have to make that divide. Mm -hmm. There's things they don't want to see, they don't want to do. On specific days, they don't want people to go through their neighborhoods, to specific wear, or whatever they wear and stuff. So uh, I think there is some kind of divide, but it's more, uh, it's more physical than... Um, in the heart. Yeah, than in the heart, because there's this, I, I'm a contractor, so I work with uh, the ultra orthodox uh, uh, environment and the people uh, in general so i have a lot of uh, you know love and respect for them my family is religious not ultra orthodox but religious so i believe there is a divide because it's inevitable uh you know for specific people you know their just entire way of life is completely different so they demand their own infrastructure uh, for their way of living so i believe there is uh there is a divide Sadly, but uh, inevitably. But when it comes to certain things, you feel that everyone comes together? Um, I do. I do think they all come together. And in times of hard times that we've gone through here, which is wars or just stressful times, uh, you know, uh, um, some, some stuff that are like for the entire nation, if it's like wars, depressions, uh, you know, economically uh, uh, things, they do come together, but in their own way. So, like, uh, we will go to war, but to them, they will go, you know, pray, pray 24 hours a day. So it's like they see they see it as an like you know the equal contribution. Anyone sees it in a different way, but I think we're all at heart trying to mm -hmm. to be there. So I think we're all trying to do, but in general, I think when it comes when there's hard times, you know. Uh, people here are together like so the, not a lot going on in Bechemish when it comes to like uh, weekends or nights and stuff like that mainly because it's more uh, more of a um, you go to work you come back you stay with your family and go to sleep there's not a lot going on if there is stuff going on then it's like within the friends within the houses or going somewhere so it's not a lot going on here besides the regular things, you know, stores, restaurants, uh, you know, that might be open till whatever, 11 to, uh, but not overly, no clubs, bars, and stuff like that. Um, relatively, because you have like, let's say, okay, uh, buses and train lines uh, to very main places, okay, Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, uh, Ramle, Lud, you know, but if you need the small stuff or if you need the more, uh, the more frequent uh, you don't have it, but it's pretty good. I went, to, I worked in Tel Aviv when I was living here in Tel Aviv in Rishon, in Petah Tikva. I went to the army, so it was like uh, it worked pretty well.
like I didn't have anything that was like, oh shoot. The whole area is just a beautiful valley, even inside the city. If you just look around, it's just beautiful. It's green and uh, I love it. And the weather? The weather is okay, the humid is not so uh, crazy, the weather is pretty nice. As we see today, it's uh, the end of uh, yeah. November, it's pretty nice. Uh, it can get rainy, but it's not, this area is like kind of like um, midway. It's never extremely hot, it's never extremely cold. 